What's up guys, it's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity build a video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to diagnose reverse rotation. A lot of people have been in reverse rotation this week. You may or may not be in reverse rotation. There's a couple of different things that can happen to give you bad assignments. And people always seem to think that if they get a few bad assignments that they're in reverse rotation and that they should just quit. First, let me say this. Leaderboards appear to be uh, all based around the same thing. What I mean by that is when you are actually in reverse rotation, people will have a lower score than normal. Like let's say that you're going against somebody that you see all the time uh, in your leaderboard and the one week that you are in reverse rotation, they just so happen to get a really bad score too, along with everybody else in your leaderboard. That's not a coincidence. Okay, that's why the leaderboard glitch where people have been being transferred from one board to another isn't fair because you're coming from a, a leaderboard with different, like, regulations, so to speak. Now, there's what we call uptime and downtime, block doorways, and reverse rotation. All three of those things are completely different. So, I'm going to show you guys how to diagnose whether or not you're in the block doorway, the uptime or downtime or reverse rotation. So this player is a low level player. They started off with a uh, 3K storage capacity, 3K war card, um, 2400 regular residential, 2000 Tokyo, 2000 disaster, and then the rest were rotatables. So right now we have a lot of main tasks. He does the 3K storage. Then he does the 3K war disaster the Tokyo, the uh, repair. Okay, so right here, he got 1,600, 1,000, right? That's what he got in return. He's five assignments in, and he has a 10,000 point score, okay? So his average is higher than 2K uh, for the, the fact that he hasn't completed the fifth assignment yet. Now, once he completes his fifth assignment here, he'll have 12,000 for, you know, five assignments completed, okay? Now, here's the thing. He has an above average score, so it's not surprising that he's getting some lower point tasks in return. When you do your main tasks, usually you get a few low ones and then usually you locate your good doorway and you're able to kind of bring your score up, down, up, down, up, down. That's how it works, right? Okay, so he continues on, he gets a 2K task. Then he gets, uh, here he has the 2400 regular residential, which he can't do because he's a low level player with no experience. So he goes with his 1600 on the, uh, the whatever, and he got a 3K uh, storage. Then he does his 1600 keys, he gets repair, so he does 1600 on the repair, and now he gets a 2000 upgrade. Does that look like reverse rotation to you? No. The game is giving you good assignments. Reverse rotation is where Every assignment that you get from doing any task is below like 1400 points, usually below 1200. It's usually about 1000 point assignments constantly, okay? So when you are getting good assignments, but they're just ones that you can't do, that's not reverse rotation. That's you kind of not understanding how it's working. You know what I'm saying? Like you've decided that you're not doing these assignments, right? Because they're not beneficial to you because they cause risk. But the game is still giving you good assignments. Now imagine, as a high level player, you can do upgrades, but you get a 1200 Latin, you get a 1200 Old Town, a 1000 Paris, then you do a 1000 fl uh, Flower, and you get a 1000 VU. You do that, you get a 1000 Omega. That's reverse rotation, okay? This is not reverse rotation. So then he does the 1,000 attack, right? But he's got the, the 
Regular residential for 2400 He's got the 3000 storage, the 2000 London. So it's very possible that his decent doorways are plugged up behind this regular residential or by one of these lower doorways. We don't know. So he gets a 1000 Now he gets a 2400 to Paris. So he's actually getting a decent assignment, right? So now he gets a 1400 glass and he does the 1000 um, view and he gets a 1200 cargo, which he does. Then he gets a 1300 sugar. So he goes with the 800 on donuts. Now here, I would have actually uh, went to the lower portion of the list and said, screw it. You know what? I need to bring up my average. I'm running out of doorways. I'm going to go ahead and do the damn epic. He ended up doing the 1000 London, and then he gets the 1000 uh, launch attack and club wars that he originally started with. So it's this particular batch of doorways that isn't being good to him. He does the glass. Uh, then he goes back and does the launch attack and club wars again. You know, you should have taken a hit on your score and went to the very lower, uh, the planks on the list, right? And prepped the textiles. Now he goes and he does 1,000. Now he finally switches it up, breaks the cycle with these doorways, the 1K VU, the 1K launch uh, attack and club wars. And mind you, I haven't seen his screenshots. So this is where he left off. So this is not a reverse rotation week. This is a you have high value assignments blocking your decent doorways and you're not switching up your, your stuff, right? That's what this is, okay? So now let's back up just for a second. All right, this is a high level player this week. This is Lala's uh, screenshots. So she starts with a 3K London, 3K VU in the streaks, 3K cactus, and the rest are below uh, main value. So starting with only two main tasks and then having a 1400 point drop, that's a little weird, but not unheard of. So this is the rest of her list. She has one rotatable premium which is the, um, the Green Valley, and that's it, right? So she does the London. She gets a 1200 Launch Legendary. She does the Cactus. She gets a 1200 Old Town. She does the Green Valley. She gets a 540 on tires. Now she does Old Town. Old Town just came in one assignment ago doesn't make sense to do this. She should have went with the blue textiles because the lunch legendary had just come in as well. Now she gets a 1K London. She does the launch legendary. That, again, another mistake. Now she gets a Paris for 800. So now she does the Epic for 800, okay? She gets Paris for 1,000. Now she does coins because she's assuming she's in reverse rotation and she gets a 1K Green Valley. So now, again, assuming she's in reverse rotation, going with her last resort uh, rotatables or seeing if you have a downtime. Now, how do you know if it's downtime or reverse rotation? When you break this cycle, downtime, what downtime is, is you, you know how you'll get like a 3K, 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 and then all of a sudden you get like a 1800, 1600, and a 1200. What that's doing is it's evening out your score. It's, going, it's bringing you up with a bunch of good assignments, and then it gives you a few bad ones. And then it starts giving you good ones again, and then it gives you some 2K ones, and it just kind of fluctuates you throughout the, con the contest mayors. Now, one thing that you notice is uh, uptime and downtime is usually really consistent. It's like 3K, 3K, then 2K, then low, then 3K, and so forth. So it's like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. But... When it's a big drop, it's like a bunch of good assignments and then a ton of bad ones, right? And during a ton of bad ones, people make a lot of mistakes. They try to get good ones and they take hits and hits and more hits on their score instead of trying to do their highest assignment and then, you know, get through the downtime. And once the downtime picks up, going back to playing normally. That's what we're trying to do here. We're saying, look, we're suspecting reverse rotation and if it is in fact reverse rotation then we can deal with that when it happens but right at this current time 
we have no reason to believe it is 100% reverse rotation. We're just going to say, look, it could be, but it could also just be a downtime. I've had downtimes that last 20 or so assignments, and then they pick back up, and then it's like nothing ever happened. Now, a blocked doorway is when you don't pay attention to your doorways, and it's an assignment that's actually blocking you getting good ones. And that's usually 90% of the time, that's what happens to people, is they do their assignments, they make a mistake, it blocks off their, their good doorway, and then because they didn't take screenshots, they don't know what their good doorway was. Once they actually go back to their good doorway is when they start getting good assignments again. That's usually what you see happening in my walkthroughs. This is, uh, right now we're suspecting downtime or reverse rotation. Okay, so she does the repair and she gets a uh, urn neosimoleans. She does grapes and uh, that's when she stopped uploading photos. But the point is she's continued on with her week and it hasn't picked back up no matter what she's done. And that is reverse rotation. No matter what you do, you get garbage in return. You have nothing but garbage assignments in your list. Look at her list. 800, 800, 1,000, 1,000, 1,200, 1,200, 1,400, 500, 1,000. It's all below 1,400 points. And no matter what she rotates, it continues to be that way, you know, because she's been messaging me and uploading her photos. So that is reverse rotation. So go back to the person that you just saw when they actually got a 2K upgrade, when they got their 3K storage uh, assignment, you know, when they are they have things sitting in their list like a 2400 regular residential, that's not reverse rotation, okay? It's a little bit different. Now it could turn into it eventually, it's possible, but it's unlikely. It's more likely that you just have, you know, a couple of doorways blocked off, maybe two of your good doorways are blocked off with, uh, you know, upgrades you're not doing and, uh, you know, your average is getting lowered because of that reason right there. But again, you guys, one of the things that people do is they, the moment that they, they get a few bad assignments, they automatically suspect reverse rotation and then they forfeit. They don't, you know, take into account like, hey, wait a minute here. There might be a way to get out of this and save this. And even if I am in reverse rotation, I can still win because everybody else on my leaderboard is going to be experiencing problems, if that's in fact what you're experiencing. But then people don't realize that they weren't in reverse rotation and other people on their leaderboard were doing fine. That's because you weren't in reverse rotation, more than likely. More than likely what was happening was you blocked off a doorway or something, you made a mistake and it created a problem, okay? So you guys don't, automatically forfeit just because you're in reverse rotation. Don't automatically assume you're in reverse rotation just because you've got a few bad assignments. All right.